Well, Tom George, welcome to the Bristol Sporting Club. It's really great to have an Olympian here, um, and you're looking pretty dapper and smart, so uh, hopefully you're going to have an enjoyable evening. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the fights and, uh, and enjoying the evening. Have you been to a boxing show before? Not like this, no, no. I've uh, been to a few fight nights uh, uh, when I was in the States at university, but never... Uh, Never like something like this, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So this is a really traditional uh, occasion. This has been going on for over 50 years. The Western Counties against the Royal Navy. So there's fantastic history in it, but it's also a great chance for for young boxers to show what they can do. And I'm sure, as a rower, a young rower, you must appreciate. It's great to be given an opportunity to show your talents, isn't it? Absolutely, I think it's amazing. And obviously, uh, as someone from the Western Counties, my heart is firmly on, uh, on one side of it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when uh, the Navy and the, uh, and the Army would actually beat the Western Counties quite comfortably. But in recent years, our boys have actually stepped up to the mark. So the, the experience of competing against better people actually is great in any sport, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I always think that, uh, that making those steps up and trying to get up the ladder is, is something that's always exciting for those athletes and so to be able to do it uh, on an occasion like this is, is going to be amazing to watch. So tell me how you started out with your rowing career, what, uh, what inspired you to get on the water? Um, I think the first Olympics I watched, will remember watching, was 2004 in Athens and uh, Great Britain won the four, the men's four by six inches against Canada and I think that was probably the first moment that I sort of realised what rowing was as a sport and then uh, when I was at school I was given the opportunity to try it myself and uh, from there I guess that was sort of how it all began and it's just gone from strength to strength. We owe a lot to the likes of Redgrave and Pinson, don't we, for inspiring Absolutely, a nation? Absolutely, yeah. yeah uh, those two in particular are just uh, people that I guess we always look at and uh, you always feel like you're standing on the shoulders of giants slightly when you're competing for Great Britain with those guys there and the rich history that Jürgen Grobler developed in, the, in our team. And so to be able to uh, be a part of that is something I'm incredibly proud of. And of course the women as well, Kath Granger and, and Co. Absolutely, they, they've absolutely. done almost yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. haven't they? Really? Well, exactly. And, and uh, Catherine's an amazing woman and what she's doing now for UK sport as well and leading it uh, into the sort of newer era is, is amazing to see. Yeah. So you have reached the a pinnacle of the Olympic Games. You must have got greater ambitions still, though. Do you want to, for, uh, well, I was going to say four years' time, three years' time. Three years' time, yeah. <laughs> you, well, two going, and a half or something yeah, now. You're, so, going, yeah. you're going for gold again this uh, time? Definitely, I think so. Um, I've got a year at the moment. I'm studying again and I'm at Cambridge uh, to, studying for a Masters and I'll be rowing there and doing the boat race and then it's back into full-time training and ready to go for Paris. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. And uh, I think you realise when you go to the Olympics, like what an occasion it is and to be a part of that and to be a part of Team GB is something I'm so proud of. You just dropped in there, you'll be in the boat race. That's quite a big thing as well, isn't it? Oh uh, Yeah, that's, that's something that's uh, it's always been an ambition. You know, it's always been on TV, something I've watched on TV and uh, been a part of. I'm at, you know, having grown up over here and, and gone to school around Oxford, you know, to be at Cambridge now is quite fun <laughs> and uh, doing something a bit different. But uh, yeah, that's going to be a, a big challenge and something that will hopefully develop me as an athlete uh, to reach that next step in, in three years' time. So you'll be a light blue, but you're really a dark blue, yeah? Oh, no, straight light blue all the way now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, uh, I hope you have a fantastic evening with us here at uh, the Bristol Sporting Club. As you'll, as I know you've already noticed in the programme, there's a list of all the sportsmen who, yeah. who've been here in the past, and yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. some exalted company, aren't you? Yeah, well, I was a huge rugby fan as a, growing up in uh, 2003. It's very much still in the memory and to see Lewis Moody in there was something that was just amazing. So to be able to be compared to someone like that is something I, you know, incredibly humbling. So, yeah. Well, thank you for joining us and have a great night. No, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited.